The women's suffrage movement reenacted Tuesday as Wyoming women and men marched to the state capitol. This to commemorate the 150th anniversary of women being able to vote in Wyoming and 100 years of women's suffrage nationwide. Governor Mark Gordon and First Lady Jeannie Gordon also marched to celebrate December 10th as Women's Suffrage Day in Wyoming. 150 years. Uh, uh, 50 see, years before the 19th Amendment? That is absolutely correct. And unfortunately, Washington doesn't know that, so we need to make sure they understand. And we, we were the first. And we weren't even a state, were we? We weren't. We were a territory. It'd be a cold day in Wyoming when we gave women the vote. Yes, the wage gap is certainly a problem, as we know, in the state. Uh, lack of female representation in our elected offices is still a problem. Uh, but I think that this, you know, this March and this day and this year of celebration is a, a bit of encouragement that maybe things will begin to change. Before the ceremony began in the Capitol Rotunda around the well-lit Christmas tree, we talked to women who've been instrumental over the years to advance the cause of women here in Wyoming. This was a great promise, and our responsibility was to make that promise a reality, and we do have a long way to go. We have, you know, we have a lot of inequality in a lot of areas in this country, and that's what this is about, is, is recognizing that it's important to get out there and finish the work. We're in this building, we get more women elected to serve in the state, and we make these issues priorities. That's how we get things done. And my service began after my daughter graduated from high school, and I would have never considered it before that. And so, yes, we have different responsibilities sometimes. State Auditor Christy Racina says more women in decision-making roles makes for more balanced policy. Uh, are we are we well represented? Because the more points of view we have, the better decisions we make, um, the better debate we have. And so I think that's really important that we work, we continue to work towards that. And then our friend Peg Oslin, who's pushing to have the nation's first female justice of the peace, Esther Hobart Morris's statue, back out in the sunlight. It's about damn time that the nation recognized us out here and real it's really up to us to shine a little more on that vent that might help if we put esther hobart morris back in front of the state capitol cowboy state daily salutes the women of wyoming in the present really and the past robert jihad cowboy state daily